Yeah, update as of 7.14. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at your, your updates here, and I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad my comments made sense to you because it's just, you know, my main concern of any class, and you know me, we've been in class together. You've heard me say this before, and you've, you've seen me demonstrate this time and time again. My main concern is, is your student portfolio. How's it going to look? How is the reviewer going to react to it? Most important, how is a potential employer going to look at your work and react to it? And I've been in the other side of the desk on all of those situations. I've been on both sides of the desk on all of those situations. And as you know, and for the last 15 years or so I've been on the receiving end so I'm looking at student work and I, and, and I review many 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 portfolios I sit on um, uh, AIGA Cleveland uh, student review board for uh, portfolio Cleveland um, AIGA uh, student review committee for uh, portfolio and, and I, I review hundreds and hundreds of portfolios a year. And the one thing I'm looking for is fresh ideas. And the, la the last thing I'm looking for, and I can speak for the entire board, actually every designer who does review and every hiring professional, I'm sure I'm speaking for when I say uh, fresh ideas and just something that is just staying away from being predictable is the most important thing that you can possibly do in your portfolio. And then again, as I'm not saying anything new. You've heard me say that a hundred times. So I'm so glad my comments made sense to you. So let's move away from the Viking. These are fantastic. I think you got some some amazing potential here. And if we just go and take a look at some of the Olympic logos, a lot of them have to do with symbols. A lot of them are, are uh, a, a designer's depiction of, of these symbols and the encoding meaning into these symbols. And you don't really see a whole lot of pictorial um, Olympic logos. There's a few. There's a few. Um, let me see. Sydney 2000 was that kind of I, that kind of um, one of those dancers with the long flags that they use. That's using that. Um, one of my favorites. One of my favorites is Salt Lake City because you've got the, the depiction of the sky um, being warmer, and then the depiction of the Earth and the mountains being colder, represented with the cool color, and then mixing the two where they meet, and then also it's Salt Lake, so you've got this kind of this this southwestern um, uh, conceptual artistic development going on here based on southwestern patterns so that's really super interesting one of my favorite logos honestly is, is where is it where is it i don't want to take too long doing this but it was oh sochi 2014 this is fantastic it's basically a, an iteration of the rings it's a, it's a, it's the ring the color of the rings it's the it's a it, it is a ring but it's depicted out of these kind of leaves that are can also be depicted as olympic torch flames so that is a fantastic logo right there. Again, very symbolic, not pictorial. So moving into symbolism and away from pictorial, I think is a, a real good decision on your part. Now, any one of these I think will work, but one thing I want you to stay away from is, is an, an exact duplication of these ancient um, symbols. So try to put your flair on them. This is fantastic right here. I think this works really well. Um, it also depicts mountains, so that's fantastic too. But what I don't want you to do is take these ancient symbols and just use them for your logo. I want you to add your personality to them, add something to them. Um, and now, and I, I see you've done that here. And the only thing with this is I think that this is, there's just might be a little too much going on there. Let's go down to the color version. And, and then this is definitely too much going on here. Um, and again, you know, like, take, let's take a look at this one. How many visual stops do you have? Okay, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then you'll have the name um, of the location. That's 10. Then you have the Olympic rings. That's 11. That's almost a dozen visual stops. That's way too many. Let's take a look at Torino 2006. How many visual stops? One, two, three. That's it. That's it. Let's look at Sochi. One, two, three. That's it. Okay, so so you see what I'm saying? So even Sochi, the the uh, word mark for Sochi is is just just it's so straightforward. Uh, London 2012. I'm not real sure what that is. That was not their logo. But Salt Lake City. How many visual stops? Basically, you have this symbol. Now this symbol has several you know inherent meanings um, encoded into it, but it's basically still only three, two and three visual stops. So I think it's really important to understand that, that, that your viewer is not going to get all these, these visual stops. As I was saying, let's go down to the color version right here. I think this has got a lot of potential right here. But boy, I don't know if it's got too much going on. I mean, I think that without this, 
I think you got it. That's got potential right there. The three triangles with without the um, or if you can work that in out elsewhere somehow, if you can work that in without expressly just putting it there um, front and center. Do you see what I'm saying? Because right now it's distracting from the triangles. I think the triangles, I think this might be your solution right here. I think it's a fantastic symbol. You've added your 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 touch to it. That's great. And this I think might be too much. So so again, that's fantastic. Again, here, too much. Just too much going on. Pictograms are good. I think uh, you know, you can you can jump over to pictograms and just really start doing some visual research and get some ideas where you want to go with the pictograms. There's just thousands of them available. Not only what has been already been used, and you can go back in history and see what was used previously and then what was used as recently as, as uh, the last Winter Olympics. And um, you know, here's some there's all sorts of interesting uh, perspectives. Um, Vancouver 2010, that was my favorite right there. These are just great. Um, these are a little bit more pictorial than I think than some of the other representations from different Olympics. This is Sochi. Um, that, and this is Winter Games too. So take a look at the difference between these and that last set. Really interesting stuff too. These are interesting. Again, these are Sochi pictograms, but I'm not real sure exactly what they ended up using. but. Very interesting stuff. Very, very interesting stuff here. So, you know, there's a little bit of visual research there, but I'm just so glad that you've changed your visual um, posture on this on this project. And um, yeah, again, you know me, I'm not going to art direct. I'm not going to say, okay, pick this and do this and take this away and do this. Give my recommendations. You weigh them out and you see what makes sense to you and move forward from there. All right. Fantastic job. Good job. You know, thank you.